Sattar, a system professor in the chemical engineering department of LJIT Ahmedabad. In this lecture, I am going to start new topic of the computer edit process synthesis. So let's start. Chapter name is design and scheduling of batch processes and topic is non-overlapping operation and overlapping operations. So to understand the concept of non-overlapping operation and overlapping operation, you should know basics of the GAN chart. I explained you related to the GAN chart in previous lectures as well. So in this lecture, we will see how to draw overlapping operations and non-overlapping operations in GAN chart. So before that, we will quickly revise some important points related to the GAN chart. So you can see on the screen, this is the example of batch processes for manufacturing of single product. This figure we have seen in previous lecture as well. So what is the meaning of batch process? Batch process means we cannot put or we cannot take out anything during the reaction. And semi-batch process means we can put or we can take out anything during the reaction in the reactor. That is nothing but semi-batch process. So this is the figure for manufacturing of single product. You can see there are four figures. That is nothing but four stages. Or I can say there are four unit operations. First one is reactor followed by mixing tank. After that there is a centrifuge and lastly there is a tray dryer. So reactor is used in the industry for the reaction purpose. After that, mixing tank with agitator is used for the better mixing and centrifuge is used to separate solid part from the liquid. And lastly, there is a tray dryer that is nothing but we are using for the drying purpose. So these are the four stages for the manufacturing of the single product. Now we will see how to draw GAN chart for this figure. Before that, you can see on the screen, note that each of the above task is performed in each of the four batch equipments. Those equipments are nothing but a reactor followed by the mixer or I can say mixing tank followed by centrifuge where we are removing solid from the liquid. Lastly, to remove the moisture content, there is a tray dryer. After that, now we are going to draw all these stages with their transfer time or performance time in the GAN chart. So you can see we can represent in a chart that is nothing but GAN chart time activities involved in each stage. You can see on the screen, this is a GAN chart with a transfer time. That is nothing but this chart means we are drawing here number of stages against processing time and transfer time. Means whatever the time required for each stage. For example, I told you in previous lecture as well, in reactor, we are carry out the reaction at 80 degrees Celsius for 4 hours. After that, whatever the outlet steam is coming for the mixer, that is the mixing tank coming for the 1 hour. After that, that is coming for the centrifuge to separate the solid from the liquid that is also for the 2 hours. And lastly, we are transferred to the dryer for 1 hour. This time is nothing but processing time. After that, transfer time means whatever the process completed in each stage. After completion of the process, that is nothing but processing time. We are transferring the material to the next stage. So time required for this transfer is nothing but transfer time. So you can see transfer time in this figure is represented by the dotted line. Okay. So in this manner we can draw this GAN chart where we are drawing stages, number of stages against processing time or I can say transfer time. Now we will see GAN chart without transfer time. Transfer time means whatever the time required to transfer the material from one stage to the another stage. There is nothing but dotted line. So we are not going to draw here dotted line. So you can see here. This is nothing but number of stages against time that is a processing time and here we are not going to draw those dotted line that is a transfer time. That's why this figure is nothing but GAN chart without transfer time. Now we will see important concept for your exam that is overlapping operation and non overlapping operation. So all these things which we have seen till this slide, this is the basic requirement to understand overlapping operation and non overlapping operation. We will see some important points related to the overlapping operation and non-overlapping operation. So first point is related to the non-overlapping operation. According to this point, in non-overlapping operations, each batch is processed after the previous one is completed. Means we can start the processing of second batch only then when first batch is completed. It means in this way, no two batches are manufactured simultaneously. But in overlapping operation, you can see on the screen, but in overlapping operations, two batches can be manufactured simultaneously. 
means it is not time consuming operation but non overlapping operation is time consuming operation so you can see next point is overlapping mode of the operation is more efficient because cycle time is less as compared to the non overlapping operation i told you non overlapping operation is time consuming operation as compared to the overlapping operation so you can see in this point as well overlapping mode is more efficient because cycle time required for the overlapping operation is a minimum as compared to the non overlapping operation so cycle time is nothing but processing time required for any batch i can say processing time required for single batch if we are adding all the batch if we are adding processing time for all the batches we will get mix span or i can say span for that process we will calculate span and cycle time for the overlapping operation and non overlapping operation in next slide before that you can see span time also less in overlapping operations okay i told you overlapping operation is not before that before that before that you can see last point that is nothing but span time also less in overlapping operation as compared to the non overlapping operation that's why i can say overlapping operation is a more efficient where we are required cycle time and span is minimum as compared to the non overlapping operation so you can see now now how to calculate cycle time for non overlapping operation so this is given by this formula you can see ct this is nothing but cycle time that is given by summation of all time that is nothing but processing time okay processing time or i can say transfer time you have to take if the process with the transfer time you have to also consider transfer time if processing is without transfer time there is no need to consider transfer time so how to calculate cycle time that is nothing but addition of time required for the all stages okay that is nothing but ct is equal to summation of all time requirement for the processing in all stages okay that is given by this formula you can see on the screen ct is equal to summation of the tj and j is 1 to m means m is nothing but number of the stages after that cycle time for the overlapping operations and can be calculated by this formula you can see ct is nothing but cycle time and here we are taking maxima of the time requirement in all stages maximum means there are different time requirement for the different stages for example 4 hours for the reactor 1 hour for the mixer after that 2 hours for the centrifuge and 1 hour for the dryer so you have to take here maxima that is nothing but 4 hour so that is the cycle time for the overlapping operation that is 4 hours that is nothing but maxima now we will see how to calculate that cycle time ct and how to calculate span for non overlapping operation and overlapping operation so first of all we will consider here non overlapping operation so you can see on this figure this is the figure for non overlapping operation non overlapping operations means second cycle is starting only when first cycle is completed okay so you can see here i have drawn here two cycles there are many cycles can be available according to requirement of your operations there are many cycles can be available in this operation so i have considered here only two cycles you can see i have started second cycle when i have completed the first cycle that's why this is nothing but non overlapping operation you can see there are four stages i told you that stages are nothing but reactor mixing tank followed by the centrifuge and dryer and we require four hours for the reactor we require one hour for the mixing we require two hours for the centrifuge and finally we require one hour for the drying purpose okay so this is nothing but gan chart for the non overlapping operation where we have drawn number of stages against processing time or i can say transfer time okay now we will calculate here cycle time so i told you for non overlapping operation cycle time is nothing but addition of all time cycle time is calculated for the single cycle here we are having two cycles so cycle time is calculated for the single cycle that is calculated by this formula addition of all times means addition of time required for the all stages that is nothing but 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 okay that is equal to 8 hours for one cycle we are requiring 8 hours for another cycle we are requiring 8 hours that is nothing but cycle time for the second cycle so addition of all this cycle time is nothing but span so you can see span calculated by like this cycle time for the first cycle that is 8 
cycle time for the second cycle that is also 8. So, 8 plus 8 is equal to 16 hours. So, this is nothing but span time for the non overlapping operations. Now, we will see how to draw overlapping operation in GAN chart. After that, how to calculate cycle time and span for the overlapping operation. So, you can see on the screen, this is the figure or I can say this is the GAN chart for overlapping operation. Where we have considered two cycles and I have drawn here number of stages against processing time. So, you can see there are two stages and reactor time is overlapping with the previous reactor. So, this is the overlapping operation you can see 4 hours is the overlapping means first cycle is overlapping with the another cycle. Okay. So, you can see how to calculate cycle time for the overlapping operation now. I told you cycle time in the overlapping operation we can calculate the cycle time by using maxima of the time requirement for all stages. So, this is nothing but CT is equal to maxima of time requirement for all stages. 4 hours requirement for the reactor, 1 hour required for the mixing tank, 2 hour required for the centrifuge and finally, 1 hour required for the drying purpose. So, maxima of this time, maxima of this time processing time for all stages that is nothing but 4 hours. So, this is nothing but cycle time for the first cycle. Now, we will see how to calculate span. So, span is nothing but total time requirement that is nothing but you can see on the screen 4 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 12 hours. Here we have taken 4 plus 4 because you can see in this figure in these two cycles only 4 hours are overlapping remaining 1 hour, 2 hours and 1 hour is not overlapping means reactor processing time that is nothing but 4 hour is overlapping in each cycle. That is why we have considered here 4 plus 4, but 1 hour, 2 hour and 1 hour that is the processing time required for the mixing tank, centrifuge and drying respectively that is not overlapping. That is why we have considered here only one cycle time. Okay? So, in this manner we can calculate span that is equal to the 4 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 12 hours. This whole question explained in detail overlapping operation and non overlapping operation can be asked for 7 marks. Based on this one numerical can be asked in this manner where you have to calculate cycle time and span for that numerical. So, what we have seen in this lecture we have revised the concept of GAN chart. We have understood here how to calculate cycle time and span time for the overlapping operation and non overlapping operation. So, this is all about this lecture. We will see next topic in the next lecture. Thank you very much.